it's nearly 20 years now, my first cap. And uh, I mean, uh, some of the people in the room might remember Jamie Joseph stamping on my ankle. Um, but interestingly, people think, you're so brave to come off. You're so brave, Kieran. I wasn't brave. The reason why I didn't come off is that bastard was sitting on the bench over there, Matt Dawson. He is not getting his first cap. That's the only reason why I didn't come off. No, but what I will say, I was very excited. Um, I'm sitting in the room, Dowie's called off, and there's, there's legends in the room. I'm looking up, I'm sitting in my shirt, and there's Dean Richards, and there's Rory Underwood, and there's Jason Lennon, there's all these legends. You were there too, Will. You were there. <laughs> and, and, and it's funny, you get to know about the personality of these people. And then Brian Moore's there, he's like headbutt on the wall, he's just headbutt on the wall. And a little blood drops down, and he picks it off, and he starts licking it. You know, living proof that cousins shouldn't marry. <laughs> And I go out of the changing room and I look at the All Blacks and I'm thinking, fucking look at the size of them. Sims Sam Brock, Tiga Marla, I'm thinking, oh shit, look at them. And we're lined up and the Irish referee turned around, we were both lined up and look at them. The Irish referee said, race, may the best team win. And Jason Lennon put his hands on my shoulder and said, fucking well, I hope not. <laughs> and listen, so we went out there and we run out and it's snowing. And I see the mighty All Blacks and it's fantastic. And then suddenly I've just remembered it's the hacker. Oh, I love the hacker, it's like fantastic. The first thing you can do when you're five foot nine is get next to Martin Johnson and Martin Bayfield because they pick you up and you're off the floor during the hacker. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, I love this bit, Martin, I love this bit. And they're all getting closer. And the one in front of me was Tiga Marla and his eyes are bulging out. You know, the man right there. He's going closer and closer and I'm like, I'm looking at him and thinking to myself, should we do Ring of Ring of Roses? He's getting closer and closer, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm not playing against you, I'm playing against Stu Forster, who's four foot ten. Why are you looking at me? Closer. Now at the end, and you might enlighten me, but what they do is at the end they go down on the and they go, oh, they go down and they stick their tongue out, don't they? I don't know what came over me, ladies and gentlemen, but I've got the longest tongue in the world rugby. And I suddenly thought in my first cap, well I'll show them my tongue. So I'll show you what I did, do you want to see it? Sorry, this is what I did well. <laughs> and uh, got a bit of respect after that. Um, you led the hacker, did you ever see anything like that when you uh... What you led the hacker? No, never in my lifetime. No, jeez. No, I've got nothing longer than that. 